How we doing everybody? This is Kadali and I know I haven't made a video in a very long time. I'm actually just getting my YouTube back up to speed and getting a lot of new videos up. Reason I haven't been posting a lot, well reason I haven't posted at all in like a lot of months is because my computer had a ton of viruses on it and I had to ship it out to the manufacturer. They did a total hard drive rewipe and literally it came back to me like it was a brand new computer uh, all my files were gone and everything so I had to re-download things and I'm back up to speed now so I'm ready to start making videos it's November 1st 2014 so in th two days not three for me I pre-ordered it in two days Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will be coming out I'll be doing a lot of gameplays and commentaries on that. And also, uh, you guys know I'm big into GTA 4 on the PC. Uh, LCPDFR 1.0 version C is currently out for it. And I am going to show you guys today how to get the basic mods set up for GTA 4 PC uh, to set up LCPDFR version 1.0 C, to set up ELS version 8, to set up Open IV, which is like the same thing as Spark IV but open iv is way better and i have everything in one link for you um it's the cod elite starter pack for lcpdfr it's a winrar and then when you extract it this is what it has in it els8 it has the gta4 title update uh you should have version 1.0.7.0 already if you bought gta4 directly from steam you will automatically have the latest update if you got it from a retail store it should have the automatic update too i didn't buy it from a retail store so i'm not 100 percent sure but you can also comment in the um on the screen below or whatever under the video and if you really are having a hard time figuring out what your title update is or whatever you can just message me and i'll help you out so uh, let's just go through some other things in this little pack. Um, this right here, OIV, is Open IV Setup. It's just a setup. You can obviously set it up. We'll get to that later. And right here is uh, two different ways to install LCPDFR 1.0C. I personally prefer the uh, automatic installation method, uh, but some people don't because some people think it's just better to throw all the files in manually and that it's easier uh, I have both in there for you. I'll show you how to do it both ways today. And you can choose whichever is easier for you. So first of all, before we get into the video, you got to download this pack, obviously. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the link below. It's my website. It's a new and improved website. I've been working on it. I started fresh. Uh, if you followed me before, my website was coddly.com. Well, obviously, since I wasn't making videos, I let the subscription for the .com domain to run out. So now I just have .webs.com right now, and I'm going to get that Cotelite.com back up running soon. So anyways, go to the link in the description. It'll bring you to this. You can subscribe to the website if you want for updates. You're going to want to hit the Downloads tab. It will require you to sign in. If you don't have uh, an account with me, you just hit Register Now for free and... Um, uh, you know, create an account. Sorry, I can't type and talk. Well, I, I kind of can, but not that good. All right, so what you're going to do uh, is I cleaned out this whole page, and this is the only thing here. You're going to want to hit the Cotley LCPDFR starter pack and download that. I'm not going to show you how to download it because it's a download. It's self-explanatory. So once you download that, You'll get this in a WinRAR. Just extract it to your desktop. Then you'll get this. Um, like I said, the GTA 4 title update, I'm not going to explain how to do. Um, but we'll work with these right now. So first of all, obviously, to have this... Uh, obviously, if you're looking to have LCPDFR, you probably already have GTA 4. If you don't have GTA 4, you got a problem. <laughs> um, so what you're going to want to do is go to... I have a GTA 4... Uh, where my directory is, I have a shortcut. If you don't have a shortcut, I recommend you get one, and I'll show you how to do that now. So what you're going to want to do is go to Computer, Local Disk, Program Files. If you have Program Files and Program Files 86, go to the 86 one. Um, now, this is for Steam. I don't know where it would be if it wasn't in Steam, so if 
I'm, you know, I'm sure it'll be similar, but um, if you have Steam, click on the Steam folder. You're going to want to go scroll down to screen, Steam apps. You're going to want to hit Common, Grand Theft Auto 4, and then Grand Theft Auto 4 right here. Now, this is your directory. All right, this is where all the magic happens. So now to make a shortcut, you want to go so you see the GTA 4 and G, uh, the installers folders. Uh, right click, right click on the GTA 4 folder. Uh, come down to send to and desktop, create a shortcut. It'll create a shortcut for you and then you literally can access it in one click. Like here's my shortcut. One click, bam, I'm here. All right. So the first thing we're going to want to do is install LCPDFR. I'll do the manual install first because it's so much more of a pain in the ass. So I'll get it done and out of the way first. All right, so on the right is the uh, LCPDFR manual install files. On the left is a directory. So what you're going to want to do is um, I'm not going to drag and drop it over because I already have it and... Um, I don't want to screw things up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to highlight all these and then drag them over to your GTA 4 directory. And obviously you're going to be dragging uh, this one and this one in. Um, once it's over here, you can delete it or you can even delete it from this LCPDFR manual install folder. You don't need these two Adobe files. They're just explanations. And also... After you drag over all these files into here, you have a folder called LCPDFR install ASI loaders. You're going to want to drag the dsound.dll file in here so you can uh, play LCPDFR. If you don't drag dsound.dll in, you won't be able to play LCPDFR. So I'll say it again. So you're going to want to drag all these folders in here. And then you're going to want to open the LCPDFR folder and drag the dsound.dll file down here somewhere. And then that's how you do the manual install. That's it. Now, for the automatic install, which I find so much easier because you don't have to do anything, you're going to want to right-click, run as administrator. Yes. I have to wait for the setup to load. I'm going to hit OK. Next. I agree. You're going to want to check the D sound. It should already be checked. Hit next. Next. And then right here should automatically be where it's going to install. Um, if it doesn't go to your GTA 4 directory where I showed you earlier, automatically you're going to want to hit browse and then go through the whole thing again. Local disk, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, GTA 4, and just click it. And now I'm not going to reinstall because I already have it installed, but literally after you find that, you just hit the install button. It'll install all the files, and then it'll say done, and then you're good. So that's it. So that's how to install LCPDFR 1.0C. Now I'm going to show you how to install ELS version 8, which I think is amazing. I hated ELS version 7. I stayed with ELS version 6. Because ELS v7, I thought, was made the lights look so slow and so fake. And it was awful. I couldn't stand ELS 7. But I love ELS 8. So what you're going to want to do for ELS 8 is um, I'll open the ELS 8 folder, obviously, and go to Installation Files. And here's your files. And you're going to want to open your GTA 4 directory. This one is an easy manual install. Highlight them all. Drag them into the GTA 4 directory, and bam, you're done. That's how you install ELS 8. And open IV setup. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole setup because it's just, you know, you literally in this one, you just hit install, and then it'll install. But I will show you what open IV does. Um, so once you have it installed, you're going to want to hit Grand Theft Auto 4. And then this does take a little while to load, not too long. Um, and then it's exactly Steam, or not Steam, um, Spark 4, but it's, I think it's so much easier. I, I use Spark 4 for over, you know, a year and a half, and I just got Open IV, and I, I think it's so much simpler. So when you do this, you're going to want to hit PC, 
models, CD images. Um, and then this is where you can install all of your vehicles, your weapons, um, your different um, pedestrians, like if you want to upload different cops. But I'm not going to get too far into that because I'm going to show you guys how to install vehicles and sirens and uh, weapons. I'm going to do those in separate videos. Uh, but I just wanted to show you like where the main things are because that's pretty much what people use Spark for and Open for for is to install different police cars and stuff. So yeah, so that's how to use Open IV, and you guys know how to install LC PDFR version 1.0C and ELS version 8. So oh yeah, I also have one more thing to show you guys. I installed LC PDFR 1.0C the first time and every time I would start my game in the top left hand corner it would say um, error loading LC PDFR loader dot loader or something like that or error loader dot loader um, so I couldn't play the game and in the top it, like I said it was in the top left hand corner and every time I hit a button like alt P or whatever to start LC PDFR it would not work so I searched on the internet for weeks to try and figure out the problem and nothing worked. Um, but then I figured out how to fix that. And it's kind of hard to show you since the error doesn't happen to me anymore. But I'm going to show you guys how to fix that problem. And if you guys have any other problems in LC PDFR, like if it's not loading or not, you know, installing correctly, like if you can't play LC PDFR when you go into your game, I'm going to show you how to fix it right now. So what you're going to want to do is open your GTA 4 shortcut. Want to Oh wait, where is it? It's in a folder. You're going to want to open the LCPDFR folder and the LCPDFR diagnostics tool is brand new. You're going to want to right click, run as administrator and hit yes. And then you're going to want to hit um check your installation. Oops, that's right. You got to hit advanced mode first. Forgot. Um before you hit check it in your installation, hit advanced mode and then hit check your installation. And then uh, browse game folder. And then you're going to want to come down here. It'll be in your GTA 4 directory. It should be. And you're going to want to select the GTA 4 application and hit OK. And then uh, if LCPDFR is set up correctly, it will say um, check successful LCPDFR set up correctly. You can close the tool now. Um, and all these things right here under the progress bar will be green. If any of them are not green, it will, t it will give you an error message and tell you what you need to do to fix it. So like when I started, um, and it wasn't working, the system dependencies, uh, was not installed. So literally, um, if it's not installed, you have to double click this line or whatever, and it will open up the internet, the download link. Um, for you know a Microsoft C++ file or whatever and once I installed that it worked and mostly for everyone's problems 95% of the time this is where all the problems are so if you guys are having a problem um, I recommend using the diagnostics tool before you go and you know get all pissy and pissed off and complaining on lcpdfr.com or um, in my comments below I recommend you try that first and if it's not working then after you try your solutions uh, then definitely get a hold of me and I will help you um, as much as I can so that is it guys for this video I hope you guys learned something new and I hope you guys enjoy LCPDFR 1.0 C and ELS 8 and subscribe to my channel check out my website because I'm going to be uploading a lot more um, YouTube videos and LCPDFR gameplays. Thank you guys and have a go.